Mm -hmm. All right there, BBPN and guests. Yes, I know we're starting the cast early there. Well, due to a generous donation there to the beer fund, of course, now we're going to have to do a double header today. So we've got loads of games for you today there. Well, at least hopefully enjoyable ones. Yeah, we're going to be going diving back into BBPN Season 9 because the buggers have actually been playing their games this season. Well, they are. And yeah, some of them are actually rather amusing occasionally. So we're going to go out to the stadium there and see what else can go wrong. All right, Constable Ed, are you ready for hilarity? Or, or at least for corporates? Neither? Oh, wait, BBPN and the teams. Yeah, typical there. All right, so let's see what we're going to have on the party tonight here. All right, it's Kislev versus Orcs. And we all know how many ways this can go wrong. Oh, good Lord, can it ever? Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? We, we do expect it to go well and truly wrong. On so many levels, but you know, that's the whole point, isn't it? Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. Beep, beep, and beep, beep, and more beep, beep, and some more beep, beeping. All right, so what we got here? Quick little bit of observation, as you can see here, by the skills, Kislev is slowly, slowly slaying, slant, whatever you want to call them, three re rolls. They've got, they've got Vodka, they've got Apothecary, they even got a wizard. And, of course, they got Gentle Blowing Wind, because that's everyone's old favourite thing, isn't it? Ah, yeah, some things will just never bloody change, will they? Oh, well. So, Kislev versus, of course, your old favourite bloody orcs. How wrong can it possibly go? Well, it's an entire list of how wrong it can go. But, you know, that's why you all tune in. Push me, push you, and let's see what else can go wrong. And they try to do their best. They absolutely are. Well, he is going to try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Come on. Run it. Yeah, here we go. And there we go. Yay. Yeah, that's, they are still trying to get things to work right here, aren't they? And there's the pass, and of course, there's the fail, because no surprises, nothing ever seems to go right. But I was working. I know you were working. Well, guess what? Work harder, love. Work harder. All right. Orcs. Well, let's see what they could do here. All right. Now, of course, the Orc squad, as you can see here, they're doing far better than the bloody dwarves are this season. No, seriously, they're doing a lot better here. Orcs do have one reserve, three rerolls, and they do have the fame. The gobs are definitely all cheering for them there. Now, Kislev's biggest advantage here, of course, is the almighty leap. Yay. They all come with very long legs. Yay. And people have argued, is that really a merit? Yeah, hey, some people have really argued. This is the biggest problem here. Kislev's slaying land squad, infirm, really does have. They don't actually start with any useful skills. At least that's the theory anyway there. All right, big punch. Takes him down. Thanks for standing still, wanker. I know, no orc soundboard here. Well, it's that little thing called Flash. Ah, yep, they took that out finally. Perfectly good application. Is there anything to replace it with? Nope. And Kislevy merely fails the dodge, because of course he does. Yeah, what's that? Ah, yeah, Kislev, that was the quickest turn you've ever seen. What a brilliant sense of coaching he is. The bribe must have been substantial this year. All right. Orcs going back to work here. Now the ball's still sitting where it landed. They haven't taken it anywhere. It's been two old turns, and the ball's still just sitting here. And the Orcs, mm, they're still having a bit of problems themselves here. Uh, let's try that again. I do cocaine! You're doing something, lad, and it's definitely not dairy. Yep, yeah. once again, the Orcs double one. So much for a brilliant idea. And it gives it the initiative right back to Kislev again to now maybe, just maybe, get an offense moving. Like that, maybe. There we go. Here, hold it. And he's off, and he's running indeed. 
Now, Kislev, floor you were trying to explain here. The biggest problem the Kislev firm really has is actually no real starting skills. Well, okay, they do have all kinds of things, like, of course, you know, as you can see here. Oh, come on, would you start making me do this? For Romanov. Yeah, you did it for Romanov, all right, for the, for the Soviet Union and all the rest of the good stuff. Yeah, we're going to repeat that over and over and over again there. I don't know, a bit of cheer from the old coach, but that's about all he cares about there. It's like, hey, it's free removal. And there's a punching, takes him down, gets the stun, nicely done there. Now oh, there's a scream you can hear for your mum. All right. Orcs. I, I, orcs. I, there's a lot of talk of what's going on with them here with BB2020. That to balance out the orcs, keyword balance. You're right. Okay, no one's really believing that yet. They decided to give animals to eat to just about every orc to about every other orc. So they don't have much of a passing game. Glad. They didn't have much of one to start with anyway. Bang, 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 Well, you, you still could have a partial passing game, that was true, but now they've made it near bloody impossible. And whose fault is that, really, in the end? It's like, did the orcs really need that? How have they been balanced? Since when? When have orcs been truly in balance there? The, 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 from most people's viewpoint, the orcs are just basically right fine. You know, the only thing that would have imbalanced them is giving them access to mutations, which of course they don't have. So, what you do, well, you change them around so that half of them got animosity to everyone else there. Because orcs don't like each other. Alright, fine. But you really cripple the team. Now, if you take a look at the Kislev slain slan, like I said, their biggest problem is lack of real starting skills that actually do change things. Key, block, pass, stuff like that. That's what you wanted to hear and see there. They're shooting me! Well, they were shooting you. Well, there you go. Solid removal. Takes them down there. And yep, the orcs. Well, they're at a goblin. Not like it's a real player, but those! Oh, Spread the door! Would you like to reroll that, son? Makes the reroll, but now he's got no choice. He has to throw the ball. And there it goes! Down the field! And. Oh, good lord, he's actually got it! Moving out. Unbelievable! The play's actually worked! Leap for joy! Absolutely! And now, well, well, I had to say leap, didn't I? <laughs> the instant I said it, yeah, Kislev immediately has to fail it. Yeah, goes for the leap, crash. You know, so far I think he's barely rolling a 50% on his leaps, and he's already four turns into the game here. Alright, now let's see what the Orcs can actually do on this here. Preferably, they hit the bastard. They don't have to, but that is preferable. Alright, makes the dodge, makes it look absolutely easy. And he comes running down the field here, full speed ahead, two dice. Oh, look, he got the pal. Goodbye, sunshine. And he's gone. Get over here! Okay, he did get over there, and he's gone. Are you happy now? Well, yes, yes indeed. I think the old coach is pretty happy about that one there. That solves that problem. Now you can take all the time you want going and getting the ball back. At least that's the theory. Orcs keeping up a pretty, pretty consistent scrum. And they're knocking everything down left, right and centre. So like I said, it, it comes down to what skills they start with. There's no dodge to start on the team. There's no block to start on the team. There's no pass for the reroll. Um, but the only thing they've got is diving catch and all kinds of other little crazy skills. Which are fine. But it comes down to what modifies a roll, what creates a fail. And that's where the big point is. Because they don't have anything that just modifies a die roll to make, you know, like a 1 in 9 that's so dangerous. They don't have anything like that. Or at least on a block. They don't have block or dodge or anything like that. They have to buy and build the skills. This is why if a Kislev firm does survive for a length of time, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. And they can be pretty even rather deadly. But well, that's the trick, isn't it, lads? They've got to get to that point. Speaking of getting to that point... Conscript reporting. Yeah, well, wa -wa -wa Watson's done his job, and he's fallen down and taken a nap. And there's the failed leap again. Mommy! <laughs> Head first into the ground, lad. There is something in there. It's rattling around wrong, and you've gone and KO'd yourself. One done. Well fucking done. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's the bane of any Kislev coach. All the leaps you end up doing, 
which, when they work, are absolutely great. But the problem is, you know, as people have said, if there was a skill the Kislev need to have reintroduced back in the game, it's a little skill called Safe Landing. Yeah, look that one up. You have to go back quite a few versions. But yeah, Safe Landing. If any, like, thrown teammate in Leap, you got to reroll any time you try to land on the ground. It's a great skill. Any team with Leap would like to have that. Quite frankly, the Goblins or Havelings would love to have that skill back, wouldn't they? I like, do imagine the Snotlings. Well, they'd like to have that one too. Well, wouldn't you all? I will hunt you down wherever you're hiding and I will eliminate you. I am, I am justice. Ah, oh, you're a loony, but who do you anyway? All right, Kislev. Well, they like to get the ball back. No, yeah, seriously. Yeah, this is what it all comes down to. They like to get their balls back. At last visit of the brothel. See, this is where they really hate that. But they have to go for the takedown. They do get the hit where they really want... There you go. See, it is a great skill on their blitzes. Diving tickle. They also have jump up to start off with. This is where the thinking is on any slain slime Kislev team. The blitzes aren't blitzes. Your linemen are the blitzes. The blitzes are basically used for the defense. At least that's the thinking. But the problem is you try to explain that to your average Blood Bowl coach. None of them are going to wrap their head around that. You are sure? I'm absolutely sure. All right. Orcs redeploying here, seeing what they could do. Basically, they're going to try and keep the Kislev contained because they see what his leap dice have been like, so they might as well force more leaps. Meanwhile, charges forward. One die block. Easy peasy, Avlik squeezy. Gets the rock down. And now he's off and he's running there. Of course he is. It needs to be about 20% cooler. And you can already see Kislev. Yep, the wizard's gone, but all it did was two knockdowns. Well, he got the two knockdowns. Not like that kind of knockdown. Round one. Fight! Yeah, well, he's fighting all right. He's fighting and he's pretty. All right, there goes another one. And meanwhile, over there, big hit. And there goes yet another one. Thanks for standing still, wanker. It's an awful lot of KOs, isn't it? You know, you sort of be glad he's actually got the extra VOD cookies. This is down like, you know, St. Leningrad's Cathedral over there. All right, here we go. Power of Leap. Any cage can't be broken. And, of course, he bloody misses. I lost the bomb. Do you have it? And then he tries to dodge his way out. Yeah, we saw how well that was working. <laughs> Yeah, that was not working, lad. Not in a million years. Have you seen your dice today? Yeah, it, it's not working. Oh, well, it's going to be a long day here for the Kislev firm. However, if the Kislev firm you know, keeps it together, just get a couple of good KO rolls, they do have the Volker, they might be able to at least field a team, and they can at least make the Orcs work for it. All right, there's the handoff. And there's the jogging in for the touchdown. Well, so much for that fucking idea. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Well, everyone cares here, because now the Orcs have to knock these lads down. Step one, solid hit, solid punch. Can you make that too? Nope. And that gives the Kislevs the opening they need. All he has to do is leap through, make a dodge, and then do one die block and take him down. See? Simple. Absolutely bloody... No, it's not. <laughs> not fooling anyone on that one. We'll see... Might be about time he got some dice rolls going his way. Meanwhile, speaking of something going your way, yeah, you're going down. That's going away. And there we go. Moves over. Keeps everything screened. All right. Do the Kislev. Oh, my lord. Look at it. it, it, it what, what am I looking at here? Taking a dive, is it? <sighs> you know, you made it look so good there until you ran into gerbil fire and then down you went, lad. So much for that great idea. Oh, well, Orcs go back to what they do best. Beatings, lots and lots of beatings. Mind you, from the viewpoint, they've only done the one actual casually. Remember, the other one was a crash landing. Yeah, we like to call that a Cord is special here, because Cord is legendary for slaughtering his best players with crash landings. Especially when they're anything but a one players. He will obviously roll a one. Thanks for standing still, wanker. All right, Orcs. Gonna run this in, put it on the board, we are 1-0! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! 
All right, welcome to your halftime. Your halftime score, of course, it is one to nil. This halftime being, of course, brought to you by Tassrids IT Services. Absolutely guaranteed or your money back. Tassrids IT Services. Do you have proper virus protection? What? He pays good money, doesn't he? Uh, well, he does. He absolutely does. My sister absolutely appreciates his generous contributions to her retirement fund. At least that's the theory anyway. All right. Well, so much for that great idea. Well, now Kislev basically has to go all out offense here to try and steal the ball. Let's turn this thing around here so you can see how bad a mess it is. Well, the one reserve is gone. So the Orcs, full 11. Kislev... Let's take a look here. Let's see how they're good. See, what did I tell you? The Volca paid off. Yeah, that's definitely a solid nutrient. Yeah, absolutely. Volca is nutrients. So they're down two players, but that's never stopped them. And everyone gets a reroll. Holy dooly! Yeah, well, holy dooly do you too there. All right, let's get moving in and see how bad this one actually goes. Lands all the way in the back side here. Orcs definitely on their way here. Orcs having a 1-0 lead here. Can afford to be a bit comfortable here. There we go. Solid punch here. Gets the takedown. That's uh, early just a takedown there. That's just fine. How about you, Sunshine? Would you like to meet the fist? It's a gift that just keeps on giving and giving and giving. God, you got to love this Black Orc. Block and Strength 5. He's like a troll, but only half the regurgitated bile. He's even cheaper, too, when you think about it. All right, here we go. Solid punch. Bog. Tonight we hunt. Well, it's only a stun, and there goes Mr. Trollsome all the way up there. Plows into the poor life and sends him flying. Well, don't worry. He's a Kislev. They fly on a regular basis. They have to. They all be fucking shot. Here we go. Picks up the ball. No problem. Now, I hate to say this, Kislev's got one choice. They've got to put their team basically here. Screening is a waste of time at this point. Unless you can get a removal. That, you can change your strategy mid-stride. Unless you can get somehow removal, you've got to start putting some attention in here. There we go. Solid it. Takes down the troll wannabe. Moves on in. Now, here's the question. Do you start fouling? Well, apparently you don't start leaping. Oh, dear. But I was working. Uh, Find a hot spot. You know, if it wasn't for bad luck, son, I would wonder if you had any luck. Yep, there we go. Flips on over. And, of course, fails the landing again. Not once, but twice. There goes one of your precious rerolls. Guess, of course, it does. you you got to love Nuffle. Nuffle, you're a cunt. All right. Hey, let's just say it what it is. All right, well, Orcs, not really worried about how this is going. Well, the fireball's gone. I get why he discharged it, but he wasn't in a position to actually recover the ball. So what was the point of it? No, seriously, what was really the point? Spite? I can accept that. Or, or, I absolutely can accept that. I know this, coach. All right. Spite works. So it was a spike, anyway. And lobotomies. Anyway, charging in, gets the solid punch here, takes the poor Kislev lad down. Bye! You are so small! It's funny to me! Uh, it's bloody fantastic, that's what that is, yeah. Me, Gene, thank you very much. Let's hear that one over the top. And Kislev is now down to 8 players versus 11. Well, if you're not going to go after them, can I finish a fucking sentence here? You are sure? No, actually, I'm not here. Oh, well, that makes the game easier to cast. All right, next! <laughs> can't dodge, can't leap. Is there anything you can't do? Get broken. All right, fair. All right, at least you're contributing something to the league. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Orcs over the top here. I swear, it's like a mill wall. Only less repulsive. The Orcs, not mill wall. That's, that's a separate story entirely, yeah. All right. And I'm not talking about the rejects. That's a separate cast there. Oh, you've seen them. Yeah, Ogre Team. Even Millwall's better looking. Yeah, there we go. Moving along here. See, now the Orcs are going into cruise control mode here. They'd like to get casualties. 
Keyword, like. Time for a true display of skill. Well, if a display of skill is knocking him on his ass, that you've been doing flawlessly all day, lads. Give yourself a cheer. But otherwise, you know, you need to generate a couple of more SPP. And... Hey, he made a leap. Woohoo! Kaboom! Yeah, kaboom, all right. Takes the Black Hawk down, but it's 89. That's not breaking. Well, of course it's not breaking. They're not warped. And then, of course... I knew this would happen. You're going to re-roll that, are you? Hey, he made it. Woohoo! Where should I go? I've got a list, lad. Most of them you wouldn't like there. There's a dock spot in Siberia waiting just for you. Big salt kick here. And he makes a dodge, tucks in. And now where the fuck are you going? No, seriously, is there a plan here? Is there a plan? Well, he makes use of the jump up. There's the... Where the fuck is he going? Well, he's got a big plan. Charges in. It's a push. Well, I give him marks for trying. Yeah, he's trying, all right. He is trying. Duh. Yeah, duh. And here we go. Orcs still enjoying a seven orc advantage here on this drive. Nope, there's no goblins left on the field. They took care of that problem. The only injury boy is left. They beat the crap out of a goblin. Why does this not surprise me? Yeah, it's pretty typical of them there. Who do you indeed? All right, orcs swing and a punch. You see, don't you wish these lads had real skills? Well, he's bought block, but otherwise, no. And th this is using the bane here of any Kislev squad. This is why in the NAF, they're actually a rather interesting team to play. Because at least you can buy skills to start. This, this, this does kind of make up for the slight problem. And there's the other slight problem. Oh, dear. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody! Well, the orcs can make you bleed it. That would be easy. All right, orcs strutting down the field. So far, so good here. Turn 12. You know, someday... Are you KGB? Uh, yeah, you're something, all right. Well... Uh, uh, I knew this would happen. Have you made any really good successful leaps today? Okay, he's made four leaps. He's failed all the rest of them. And remember... Even even though it has changed, it's changing now, but in these days here, on LOV6, BB 2016 here, tackle zones don't matter for your landing. At least for a leap, anyway. But guess what's happening? It doesn't matter. He's just failing on landings. It's, three, it's a three plus lad. He can't even roll that. Oh, well, push me, push you. Don't worry. The crowd's going to give you a re education, as we call it here. It's called a gulag, son, if you need that explained. Look, do I need to spell it out to you? I understand, there's orcs on the field. I have to spell everything out to them there. Like the word spelling. Okay, that oh, I've got to spell. Never mind. All right, here we go. Moving along here, orcs. Well, he's got a cage. Again, th this is actually Kislev's great strength when it fucking works. That they can actually go, like, no cage is absolutely invulnerable to him. If they can just get a guard, it's dynamite. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm just one man! Yeah, yeah, just one man, all right, yeah? Yeah, H have you done any leap training whatsoever with this team all season? Just went out and got drunk, did you? That's all you did. No surprises. Oh, God. You're turning into one hell of a one, don't worry, it's a log day. There's the cheek hand off, he makes it, no problem. Time for a true display of skill. And now he's just gonna park. Oh dear. <laughs> oh god, now he's gonna try it again. <laughs> all that effort, all that glory, and now suddenly Kislev is right back into the game. <laughs> Oh, you can hear the scream from here. Kislev is back in the game. They've got one reroll left. Now they just got to go and get the calico and run. Oh, come on! For Mother Russia. One more time. Makes the dodge, but there goes the reroll. Now he's got to make a successful block. Uh -huh. ah. I knew this would happen. <laughs> <laughs> you had one fucking job! One! 
You can't even do that! Oh god, what a game this is turning into here. What are the orcs? Bit of embarrassment. Not lying, this is a bit of embarrassment to the orcs here. They do have to mindly scramble now to go and get the ball back. This wasn't in the script, apparently. Not at all here. Unfortunately, they're over. Like, look at this! They've only used the one free reroll. Otherwise, no need the rerolls except for the damn gerbil. Someone go and talk to Lord Paxton. What's he done with the buggers? All right. Well, now the Orcs go scrambling to at least try and well protect their lead. The last thing they expected to do there. Push me, push you, re-rolls it, still fails. And then doesn't follow it up there. All right, well, he moves to here. Well, that's a bit late. He can easily dodge and get away here. Meanwhile, there we go. Solid punch. Takes the lad down. There he is. Uh, you, you forgot to stand somebody up there. Oh, God, the Orcs forgot to stand up the person in the end zone. Oh, this has gone wrong. All right, get the ball. He's got it. Woohoo! Let's go. Checking designs. All right, now it's an easy pass. <laughs> so, it's an easy. Where are you throwing it? You threw it to Georgia and the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely throwing it to Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Not the other Georgia. Oh, God. Christ on a stick. Well, at least he's got another turn. Wait, wait. How many movements has he got? Let's see. One, two, three. Well, maybe. Oh, this is going to be tough. Well, then again, the player was supposed to receive the ball. Apparently, he never got the ball. It's nowhere near him. All right. Orcs have got the ball. Then they realize. There we go. Big throw. And he's fumbled it. And he's fumbled it again. Well done. Just well done. Ooh. Oh, you are a smart one. I understand now. Yeah, I understand now, yep. And there we go, Kislev summed up in a nutshell. They can't even do that there. What a society. Oh, God, what a game. What a game that was there. Oh, the pain. The pain. Well, well, there you go. Final score. It is one to nil for the Orcs. So let's face it, the Orcs almost pissed it away. They had total control, then they completely fail it up there. Well, don't worry, today is a double header, so do stay tuned. I'm gonna go get a drink after that one. I think the coach of the, of the Slavic team totally agrees with that one. We'll be back in about five minutes or so with match number two for today. Stay tuned, Nuffle, bless your dice. <laughs>